Hi Pisces, this is your November 28th through December 4th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love um, this week. We have the Six of Swords, uh, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Chariot and uh, the Moon. And we also have uh, the World on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Cancer, or perhaps even another Pisces. This is a very specific reading. Here's what I think is happening. This is somebody you already know, and they are coming back. I don't think they're coming back to you. <laughs> they could, it could be somebody who used to work for the company that you work for, and now they're going to be rehired. Right? It could be somebody who was in the same gym with you and they're gonna and then they left, they dropped out, but they're going to rejoin the gym. Or perhaps it's a somebody who is a friend, right? Somebody who was in the same circle among your friends. And perhaps they left. They had to go to school or they had to go somewhere, they went traveling and they relocated and now they're coming back. They're moving back or something like that. Or it could be somebody who is in the same class with you. Right, so that's what I think is happening. Somebody is back, right? So the Six of Swords, the first card I came out, this is a card of somebody coming back in this particular case. And the, the Three of Pentacles right next to it is a card of a collaboration. So for some of you, this is um, a workplace environment. For others of you, it's just a bunch of people hanging out, doing something together. Or it could be somebody is in the same gym. You know, it's a group setting, all right? And uh, they're coming back and it's going to be... Uh, they're they're back for good. <laughs> Again, I don't know if they're coming back because of you. For some of you, it could be, but for others of you, it's just circumstantial. I think you're going to be really happy to see them, All right? We got the Nine of Cups clarified by the Three of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true, and it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. All right? We got the Ace of Pentacles clarifying the Six of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles clarifying the Nine of cups, right? So you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but both of those two cards are very, very serious cards. As a matter of fact, the Six of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal, but uh, in general, it is a golden opportunity. This card always uh, comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to start a family, ready to get serious. The Knight of Pentacles, again, could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it's very similar to the Ace of Pentacles energy. You see how the Knight of pentacles is holding up a pentacle. That's exactly the pentacle we see in the Ace of Pentacles, right? We're just zooming in on that hand holding that pentacle, right? So yeah, long term coming up for you with this person. Um, we have the world on the bottom of the deck. The world could be someplace remote. So again, travel could be involved here. Perhaps, like I said, this person is traveling back. Um, the world is my happy end card. This is one chapter of your life coming to an end and a new happy chapter together with this person is about to begin. So speaking of uh, new chapters and happen, <laughs> in the potential outcome we have the Ten of Pentacles with the, the Chariot and the Moon. The Moon is your major arcana card, uh, Pisces, unless you're dealing with another Pisces. And the Ten of Pentacles is a card of a commitment to marriage. And it makes total sense that the uh, Ten of Pentacles showed up, not any other commitment on marriage card. Because we got multiple commitment on marriage, marriage cards in the deck. But uh, the Ten of Pentacles, it's like the natural progression from the Ace and the Knight of Pentacles. So now we're upgrading, so to speak, to the Ten of Pentacles, right? It's a rock solid commitment. This is when people buy real estate together, they grow old together, have children together, enjoy financial abundance together. The Chariot right there in the middle could be a Cancer. You're dealing with, but again, the Chariot could be a card of trouble, right? We got trouble, you know, for, for at least some of you that is somehow involved here. The chariot is a card of victory, success, it's a card of moving forward and not looking back. Alright, and um, yeah, amazing. Perhaps this person is coming back, they will take you and go back <laughs> to where they came from and you're relocating with them. 
Perhaps uh, this is somebody who left, but the two of you kept in touch, and they're coming back. Like I said, they will take you, and they will take you back to where they look relocated. I don't know, something like that. But for most of you, it's like this person is going to rejoin the gym, rejoin the same company, rejoin the same um, people that we hang out together, or something like that. And it's uh, it's a it's a done deal, Pisces. It's pretty much a done deal. All right, I'm not even going to do an extended for you because that would be a waste of time. Really, really happy for you, Pisces. Congratulations. Pisces, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this prayer is for you. We have the Five of Cups. Um, we have the Two of Swords clarified by the Three of Ones. We have the Ten of Cups and we also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. The phrase I keep hearing is bittersweet. It's like you guys are um, either deciding between two... Uh, options you will choose one but the second option was also really really good say you're thinking about purchasing a house and you looked at five seven ten houses and you narrowed it down to two and you have to make a choice but both houses are really really good so you will choose one but the second one was like uh, that one was also good you know but it's so it's a bittersweet moment it doesn't have to be about uh, purchasing a house. It could be about something else, right? You could be relocating, right? Going to another city. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that's what I think is happening here. Um, the Five of Cups, the first card I came out, this is a card of looking at what you had or currently have, right? And feeling kind of sad about it. It's a card of grief, right? The Two of Swords in this card that came out, it's a card of a crossroads. So you definitely have... Uh, a couple of options in front of you. The three of ones clarifying it is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, so you are choosing one. And then we have the ten of cups. The ten of cups is a card of a family or a commitment. And the two of cups on the bottom of the deck, that's you and uh, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other. For some of you, you could be moving out of your parents' house and moving in with your husband, wife, or who, your significant other. And you're like, oh, well, I spent my childhood at my parents house but uh, and that's what kind of giving you grief that's what that bittersweet moment is but that, on the other hand yeah new life lay, lays ahead of you all right cool let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Pisces this week keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago a year ago or a couple of years ago so it doesn't have to be the most recent X we have the king of ones the nine of ones the three of swords clarified by the ten of swords and we also have the tower on the bottom of the deck. So this king of wands uh, could be a fire sign near his Lyra Sagittarius. Um, I don't really see any offers coming from them. Perhaps if I were to clarify further, we would have seen a page or a knight or an ace. But uh, all I see is, you know, really, really hard times associated with this king of wands right we got the three of swords which is a card of a broken heart the nine of wands which is a card of a wounded warrior the ten of swords is a card of an abrupt ending and so is the tower so perhaps they came back and uh, you thought about it and i think you're shutting them down because they really put you through it in the past and you're just gonna avoid uh going through that all over again i don't see you getting back together i see major major devastation associated with this king of one Pisces. all right so yeah i don't think you would want to go back to something like that all right cool let's talk about your work your business and your finances Pisces. this week we have the nine of swords uh clarified by the world we have the empress the star and the, the fool on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a taurus libra aquarius or aries What's, what I think this spread is about, it will most likely resonate with you if you're going through some tough times or if you're really stressed out about something, about your financial situation, about your existing job or whether you're going to get that job or not. Um, yeah, if, the, if that's your story, then it's all coming to an end. And it feels like a miracle. It feels like a wish come true. We actually do have the star card right next to the deck, which is a card of a wish come true. Something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. It's also a card of healing, by the way. Right? So the Nine of Swords, this is how you could be feeling right now. Stressed out. Uh, can't sleep at night. You're just all... Um, you've got anxieties and things like that. Right? Uh, tough times. 
Um, the, the good news is, first of all, it's qualified by the world. The world is my happy end card. So the Nine of Swords energy is coming to an end, and the new chapter of your life is about to begin. We have the Empress in the middle. The Empress, um, you know, the Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck. It's abundance in its purest form, right? It could be a person who is going to come towards you and offer you a job, or say this is your boss or somebody who will help you at work and uh, they are a figure of authority to you right we got the star the star like i said is a, a wish come true card uh, it could be an aquarius you're dealing with and the fool this is you uh feeling good you know this is a complete opposite from the nine of swords where in the nine of swords you're crying with the fool you're feeling awesome <laughs> this is a card of liberation so you're l leaving that nine of swords energy behind for some of you it could be a start of a new job or perhaps if this uh Empress is going to help you out to solve some kind of a puzzle at work, then you'll feel relieved. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Pisces, this week. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and uh, we also have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck, that would be you, Pisces. And this spread kind of reminds me of the work, business, and finances spread. I did for you a couple of minutes ago. So it could be the same story. It's just slightly different cards. Or it's something else. <laughs> okay. The Five of Pentacles, the first card I came out, I think that's the way you're feeling right now. This is a card of either you not having enough money or your financial situation isn't doing so good, basically. Or this is you feeling left out in the cold, feeling kind of sad, miserable, and things like that. Here comes the Eight of Wands. This is a card of communication. A letter, an email, a phone call, or somebody is coming over. And uh, what this Eight of Wands is all about is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, it could be a job offer, it could be money coming your way, or an investment opportunity, or something that will change your life. Something that will make you feel completely different from the way you're feeling right now with that Five of Pentacles. Because the Ace of Pentacles is um is a is a great card it really is it it's called a golden opportunity for a reason okay so whatever that information or communication is all about um it will change your life it is a golden opportunity and i think you should uh, at least consider in taking it <laughs> all right so that's what you're not expecting and that's what i have for you uh pisces for this reading for this week if this video resonates with you please like it Please also share and subscribe and uh, other than that Pisces, have an amazing week.